All right, so I hope this works. Uh, this was very interesting time to make this lock work for my door. Uh, first, trying to figure out how to cut this so it actually could fit in. That, believe it or not, took me forever to figure out just to do that. Uh, and then, uh, and then the problem was, which at first I thought, well, I just add another wheel to the side to. Um, to make up for the difference and you know uh, when you put this back in and be flush so I did have to cut two pieces um, one to the shape of this with that it turns makes it flush so you mount this part on it it'll be completely flush but then you have another gap about a quarter inch. So that's why I cut this like this. So this should go like this one should go uh, oops, that's backwards. Should go like that. And this one. And then this. So I wanna put it together. Let's see how it works out now. So that's it assembled. No, I really found parts guns too. Uh, actually, not have. So the frame of the trailer with the door closed, so there's plenty of room to actually go put this in and. and Make a hole deep enough for this to last too. I think. But yeah. All right. So I'm gonna mount the door and then uh, do that part. So just gotta make it work. Once it works, you know this can be. I can go back later and just actually cut pieces, bigger pieces, and I already got the template that I need to. So it works and it might look better <laughs> all right so now i put the door back so this is about Right there. <laughs> it's almost lashing on the, on the trim. You just want to. I might have to flatten this a little bit. So, I said I'm gonna have to cut a piece of that trim, I think. No, I know I will. Uh, Actually, maybe not the full trim, but definitely a section of the inside.
Ooh. It's not as. I thought I could just flip it over so I can get this part flush and make the mark. It's a good thing I just noticed because I would have cut that. This would have been a whole different. Actually, never mind. It doesn't matter. That's the hole. The hole remains the same. Yeah. Gotta cut the whole this section right here. Let's screw this. I can just put a screw here and one there. That will keep that secure there. Then it'll give me enough room for this. Make this flush. Or if I can't bend it, cut it off. Because I have the lip from this. Um, I got the hole here that I gotta cut into. It looks like I only need like that one. Let's see. Maybe half an inch. So I just gotta go in about half an inch. Yeah, I think uh, things do. Why do I think I got too much? I gotta hammer this whole thing flat. This curve right there, that curve right there. Make it flat. Cause one is sticking out too much. And if I can do that. That's right. Yeah. All right. So I don't think I can mess this up anymore. That's how it looks. So, hmm. Definitely didn't mess, didn't measure correctly the first time. And I actually ended up having to put it backwards. So you see how that, that lip that's been on the inside that's supposed to be on this side. But uh, it just works out perfect the opposite way. So, I mean, it's still, I mean, worst case, someone breaks in and break into my safe and steal all the millions of dollars. Yeah. 
see if it closes. You can say that's close. All right, so that's complete now. There's the ugly looking latch plate or strike plate. Um, that's from hammering on the concrete to make it flat. And there's a lock on the door. I did end up having to cut the trim here a little bit so I can put the plate on it. Yeah, to do give it a little uh, push, you know, close it hard so you close it all the way. But uh, this is this is for the that bolt. You close it. You go. You turn left and you lock. So yeah, it's like there. It won't wait. It won't open. Um. So. Okay, just a that bolt, and then this is for the uh, for the lock, just like that. It unlocks. There it is. I got a door, and it locks.